What's happening guys? Spider-Man TV shows were a part of almost every single Spidey fan's childhood. We grew up watching these shows and they will always have a special place in our heart. Therefore, let's go through 5 best Spider-Man TV shows ever. Number 5. Spider-Man Unlimited. The show originally premiered back in 1999, but was overshadowed by Pokemon, so it had to be cancelled already after a couple of episodes. Eventually, Fox Kids decided to resume the airing of Spider-Man Unlimited, which lasted for one year. Season 1 had 13 episodes, and the show ended on a huge cliffhanger. So unfortunately, we've never found out whether Spidey managed to save the world after all, since season 2, despite the fact that the script was already written, was never produced. The show had some great storylines and every single episode was quite interesting and intriguing, but probably the best thing about it was the fact that it was something completely new. Spider-Man Unlimited tried its best to differ from the original source material and it succeeded by bringing some refreshing experience. Since the show takes place in future, quite a lot of ideas were taken from Spider-Man 2099. And of course, Rino Romano voiced Peter Parker. That's right, our beloved voice of Peter in Spider-Man 2000 game, which was released the same year. Regardless, the show was fun and deserves its spot as number 5. Number 4. Spider-Man and his amazing friends. The show originally premiered back in 1981 and lasted for 3 seasons and 24 episodes. The show featured Spider-Man and his partners, Iceman and Firestar, fighting in crime. During its 2-year run, the show was able to capture great Spidey humor and gave some great moral lessons for the young audience. Back in 1981, the show became very popular due to its amazing, at that time, animation and some well-written episodes. Spider-Man and his amazing friends becomes number 4 in our top 5 best Spider-Man shows. Number 3. Spider-Man The New Animated Series The show premiered on MTV back in 2003 and it was basically a loose continuation of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 1. Just like Spider-Man Unlimited, the show had only 13 episodes and it ended on a cliffhanger. In terms of animation, it was something completely new. The show was made using CGI and the visuals were pretty stunning. One of the best things about this show is the fact that it had truly gritty and dark atmosphere. I mean, character deaths weren't just assumed, they were actually shown. Therefore, demographic was more teenage than children. Spider-Man The New Animated Series showed us a more mature version of Spidey that we all love, and it approached things more realistically. The show had a free license to do anything with Spidey villains, so they presented some truly interesting variants of some of the bad guys, such as Electro and Craven. Neil Patrick Harris voiced Peter Parker, and that's one of the best things about the show. A more mature Spidey, a more mature storyline, and a great voice acting. That's what makes Spider-Man the new animated series number 3 in our top 5 of the greatest Spider-Man shows. Number 2. Spider-Man the Animated Series. Hands down, all-time classic. This show aired on Fox Kids back in 1994 and it lasted for 4 years. The show had an outstanding 5 seasons which contained 65 episodes. Those who grew up with this show, such as myself, already know why it deserves its spot. First of all, the show stayed true to the comics. It had some great character development and during its 4 years run, we were introduced to almost every single Spidey villain. The show featured cameos from Captain America, X-Men, Punisher, Fantastic Four, Daredevil and more. Usually what you see in a Spider-Man show is that every single episode features a different villain, but not in case of Spider-Man animated series. Sometimes a story was told in 3 or even 4 episodes before the show moved on to the next chapter. In addition to its well-written story, the show had some decent voice acting and animation. Spider-Man animated series managed to develop its own unique style, which cannot be compared to any other Spider-Man show. And of course, let's not forget the awesome guitar opening theme, which in my opinion is the best version of a classic Spidey theme song. Spider-Man Animated Series deserves its spot as number 2 in our top 5 of the best Spider-Man shows. And number 1 The Spectacular Spider-Man. The show premiered back in 2008 and almost instantly it received critical acclaim. It ran for 2 seasons which contained 26 episodes and was listed as one of the 60 greatest animated series of all time. Spectacular Spider-Man managed to capture the heart of comic book Spidey and showed it on TV. Besides its amazing storyline and great character development, the show had some truly iconic moments, such as a fight between Symbiote Spider-Man and the Sinister Six. It also had some great plot twists. 
The show managed to capture the essence and relationship of almost every single character, which hasn't been done before in a Spider-Man TV show. By the end of every single episode, you are either left in pure amazement or just in tears due to the amazing character relatability. Unfortunately, even though a third season was already planned, the show was cancelled on November 18, 2009, while still being in top of the charts and receiving a positive critical acclaim. Spectacular Spider-Man is our number one in top of the best Spider-Man TV series ever. Anyway, let me know what's your top 5. Thanks for watching and I'm for now.